This is my Elden Ring Use What You See Enemy and Item Randomizer, where any items I find throughout the world I must pick up and immediately equip. This includes talismans, armor, weapons, shields, staffs, you name it, we equip it. In the last episode, we spent several hours on the search for the rolled medallion before finally finding it locked away in a vendor we already checked. This was a huge blow to my morale, as well as we lost some really good weapons throughout the last episode that would have made the ending of this run significantly easier. We finally made our way into Furumazula, which opens up a bunch of checks and almost allows for a straight shot to the end of the game. All that's left for us to access the end of the game are the two remaining great runes. But these, these are going to be a headache. Like it's been, it's been rough. Some of the fights have been really hard. What did I just do that? Every item pickup, I'm fucking, like, terrified right now. <laughs> okay. Come on. Yeah. Okay. We're, we're making it through. Let's go do Forest X. I think Forest X is a good call because of, um... There's no item pickups. And it's a boss I can get knocked out with a weapon that I know. Like, is okay. Is that, this weapon's actually really fucking good. I really like this weapon. Oh yeah, I'd kiss Fia. This music's way too epic. Oh, yikes. Ah, uh, the Sardosh run we did. The RL1 all remembrances, no glitchless thing. Just hit him. <laughs> Alright, there's gonna be a lot of items. We're going to lose our weapon. I see dragon. Magma worm? I already killed magma worm. I got the fucking the lava man. Can he be bled? I am so good at timing the question of if a boss can be blood. GG's. Wait, <laughs> I was like, wait, where's the grace? <laughs> I deserve that. <laughs> this is so concerning that we still haven't found God's skin duo because the far, the longer we wait, the more scaled up they're going to be and the lower my damage is going to end up being, which means it's going to be a longer fight. I mean, I like this weapon and it's, it does bleed. So it's like good against most bosses. Like this run could end up being like a complete and utter blessing to the run. God's skin duo. There's not many bosses left. Oh, I hate this fuck. Oh, that damage is nuts. I really don't know his moves, to be honest. Oh wait, this is a two-faced fight, isn't it? Alright, 
All right. I didn't even see him jump up in the background. I'm so stupid. Ah! You know, a smart man would have just waited there until he summoned. <laughs> but not me! Well, I think that's the last of boss this run. That really worries me. Elden Beast, maybe. Come, Elden Lord. What a sad state of affairs. I commend your spirit. But this is almost us. fitting in a way. None shall take the throne. Queen Marika has high hopes for us. That we continue to struggle. No, it's not Malekith, it's Beast Clergyman. Eternity. I don't really remember his moves that well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hell yeah. Again, I'm just gonna, like, haul ass as far as we can with this weapon. Because this weapon is, like, the, the best thing to happen to this run. So we're missing two great runes. We still need the Halig Tree medallion. So this is a slightly controversial moment in the run. As you can see, I received the Serpent Hunter. And the reason this is, is because when you actually face Rykard, the randomizer's logic is to give you the Serpent Hunter for the Rykard fight. However, since there are two phases to the Rykard fight, and the way the randomizer works, they are split up. So you will face them at different points in the run. As well as, if you reach Rykard's arena before you actually find Rykard in the randomizer, 
the Serpent Hunter will be in its original location like it was this run. Throughout this run, I've been dropping items that I've been replacing just to kind of keep my inventory a bit cleaner. So if I get new items, it's easier for me to switch to them. Because I have been dropping items, the game has been giving me the Serpent Hunter again. So despite the fact I've already gotten Serpent Hunter because I dropped it earlier, the game has given me again. At first, I didn't realize this was why. So I do use Serpent Hunter for this fight right here. But I decide afterwards to drop it, which I guess is slightly controversial, but for me, it just kind of felt more in spirit with the run. So I just kind of wanted to explain that real quick. Back to the fight. Okay, I have a proposal for you guys. Well, hear me out. I've already had Serpent Hunter earlier this run, and I'll explain why we got Serpent Hunter again. And I'll make a proposal, and I'll let you guys decide. Whatever is decided on, I'll follow. Bro, forgot how to swim. <laughs> okay. Stick? All right, we're going to stick. Because as you can see, like you can't drop Serpent Hunter, but you can discard it. And so that's why I've gotten it three times already. That's the third time I've gotten it this run. Hey, Colin. I want to go check... Finger Slayer Blade. I know Biss said it's not a key item for the randomizer, but that just feels weird to me to not be. I've done Plas- Oh, wait, you're right. Plasti's Arena. You are right. Thank you, Liv. <laughs> it's a massive coliseum <laughs> for this one man. What are you doing? I'm over here. I don't really remember how to fight him. Come on, do something like cool. No, it's actually a pretty sick arena for him. I definitely press roll. <laughs> so, uh, what bosses do we even have left at this point? How do you do this new skip? Isn't it like here? I don't know how you do this. How do you get over there? How the fuck do you get over there? How do you get over there? From a window? How do you get to the window? Jump out the window by the fog? A 
Oh, shoot. Oh! I'm trying to think of what other checks we have for... We're missing two great runes and half the Halog Tree Medallion. I imagine one of those great runes are going to be in, um... In the Halog Tree. Like, that's probably going to have something. It's either a Merchant or a Golden Seed. I think. Those are the only things I can think of. What's, um... Is there something that's a key item that I'm just... Did I open? Yeah, I did. Does giving the key to Thops do anything? Isn't there another church over here somewhere? With a sacred tear? Guy with a mannequin. This. Who's the guy with the mannequin? I think it's only the one merchants. I don't think it's any merchant. I think it's only the ones that like... Like the Kali like one merchants. This one with an invader? I know there's this one, which has the Eleonore's pole blade, I think. I did Padea. I can double check her. Since it's possible, um, I just looked at it and didn't pay attention to it. Oh, I was like, what? <laughs> it, it can't be any orange item. Recycle. It's only going to be... Here, I'll show you. The only places it can be are vanilla checks of key items, major bosses, golden seed and sacred tears, and merchant shops. Does not include spell shops. Wait, that didn't work. Thank you. Just die. I want to warp. Stop it! The Windmill Village? Okay. Yeah, I only know the one in Mountaintop. I already did him. Where is he at here? Oh, is he up above? Is it the one I have to go, like... Do I have to go this way? To get up there? I haven't gotten a weapon in a while. That's kind of concerning. Surely, it's a merchant. I mean, it's got... I... I... I it said there's 22 merchant checks, and I haven't done that many merchants. Please have it. Please, please, please. Oh, you might. I are you here as a customer? Fuck yeah! Okay. I will not kill you. I will spare you. I will spare you. Nice. Okay, we need 4K more runes. Roughly. Well, I guess 3k more. Uh. To actually buy it. So I guess real quick, what is... How much is... Oh, I'm fat rolling now? Okay, just die. Oh my gosh. What is what is this attack? I've never seen this. Plenty. Yes. Is there a grace here? I always forget. Wait, I forgot to switch medallion. <laughs> I'm a fucking idiot. <laughs> Start it back. Start it back. Start it back. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Heck yeah. Big progress. Today's been a very productive day in this run. I'm gonna finish this run a lot quicker than I thought. It was, last, it, was, it was good while it lasted, bud. It was good while it lasted. You're a real OG. You were there from the beginning. I miss ya. I have no idea where I'm going.
I want to make this abundantly clear. Crystal Spear. I haven't actually really used many of the crystal weapons that much. I don't know how good they are. I guess we technically used, like, the crystal knife. Um, before. <laughs> yeah, we didn't really get to hold on to the scythe. I wanted to use the scythe. But apparently, the game didn't want me to. The problem is, we're looking for two great runes. And the chances of them both being in Halig Tree... Seem kind of low. The final hurdle. Two great runes is all that stands between us and finally finishing this run. I know last episode I said that this would be the episode where we finally finished it. But things... Things get a little wild from here on out. 